All right, so now uh, we are ready to render this thing out. To do this, first of all, let me hide that backdrop plane there. And then let's um, go to polygons and create a polygon plane. So this is going to be our floor. And so let's go to the side view and bring it under that rim, right underneath it. So and then let's scale that thing up to something like this. Move it back. Maybe we could we could scale it down. So, all right. So that should work. So now let's create um, a camera. Go here to rendering and say like, okay. Uh, click on that camera button. Then go up here to panels and say look through selected. Um, for that one, I want to change the focal length to something about ninety. And let's um, go in here and say we want to see uh, the resolution gate. My resolution now is, as you can see up here, set to 512 by 512. Um, and I want this somewhere about here. Okay, so just um, to have a look at, let's take a quick render. Yeah. I don't like that position that much, so let me change that. Take another render. Okay, so now let's go in and um, go back to the perspective view. So we leave the camera one as it is, as our render cam. And now let's go in and say we want to put in some spotlights. So click on that button there and then say okay look through selected the first spotlight uh, that's going to be our key light um, put it somewhere about here and change the penumbra angle here to 10 or you know, let's try 10 all right say okay let's uh, hit control a to the attri attribute editor and then go down here to uh, shadows uh, ray trace shadows turn that on let's uh, use the light radius of one shadow rays turn that up to 15 and the ray limit here to five so yeah something like this so now let's go here to render and take another render from that render cam camera one so yeah, that's uh, looking. That's looking okay. So we get a nice highlight up here. So let's um, go here to the render settings uh, under common. Go down to render options and let's uh, turn off those uh, default lights. Uh, close it up. Take another render. Okay. So now uh, let's um, add in another spotlight. First of all, go back to perspective click here on that spotlight button and then say okay look through selected like we did that with the other spotlight and let's uh, put it somewhere here um, yeah and then again go to the channel box and say uh, the penumbra angle here to 10 again and let's take another render see how that looks and save the image that we rendered up before so now we're getting some additional highlights here. Um, yeah, that's looking good. So we take care about some reflections uh, later on. So go back to perspective. And let's create another spotlight. Again, go look through selected. And let's drop that uh, on the back side to have some some more um, highlights on that rim later on. So go here and say, okay, 10 for the penumbra angle again. And I don't want this light uh, to uh, affect the, the ground plane. So to fix that, go here under the window, uh, relationship editors and say light linking, light centric. And go uh, click on spotlight three and um, our Floor plane is uh, P plane one here, so deselect that and let's take another render. Yeah, as you can see, there are some additional um, highlights coming up with that. 
So what you could do, uh, there are many ways to render this. So what you could do is you can go in here and say, okay, uh, create uh, a bunch of uh, planes and then uh, put a light on that plane and have some indirect soft lighting and some nice reflections. But that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I'm using um, an image-based lighting HDR. Uh, I downloaded that HDR um, and a, a long time ago um, and I tried to find the, that place where I downloaded it but um, I uploaded it in the end uh, on the address here uh, stefanpilz.com slash images slash oz underscore rim underscore tutorial dot HDR so if you type that in um, you can download that okay but you can use uh, your own reflection maps uh, you don't have to use that yeah, you can use whatever you want. So one thing that I uh, realized is that uh, the texture of that inner piece here, it's kind of like washed out and I guess that is um, a problem here um, that comes with the default settings. So go to the attribute editor and um, go to that file here and you see the filter type that's automatically turned to quadratic. So let's turn that off. I hope that helps. So yeah, let's just take another render to check that out. Yeah, if you com compare this, you see that difference here. I, I don't know if the uh, video codec uh, shows that, but uh, th there is a, a big difference. So now uh, with that filter turned off here, uh, that's getting way better. Okay, so now um, let's bring that HDR in that I, that I was talking about. So let me close that window here. Um, go to the render settings, go to indirect lighting. And uh, right up here, image based lighting, uh, say create. And then here on the right side, you have to choose, uh, choose your uh, image. So this is automatically set to spherical and image file. So that's all right. I put that HDR under my source images folder right here, OZ, like I said before, um, the HDR, open that up. And uh, from some test renderings, I know um, that this, this has to be rotated. Uh, but as I mentioned before, you can rotate that uh, um, whatever you want. You can tr try your own stuff. So let me go in here. If I find it, select that and now say we want to rotate this and Y. Um, something like 200 degrees and Y. Uh, that was looking good to me. And uh, now here uh, in the render settings, um, turn on final gathering. So this is d the default settings. You can crank the accuracy up and the point interpolation. So you can you can really get lost uh, with all those settings. So I leave it uh, with the default settings. And um, yeah, in the end, you will see if we render that. Uh, let's do this right now. Um, and wh what you see here. Um, is um, one thing. So with that uh, sphere selected, with the HDR selected, um, go to the uh, editor here and say we want uh, the primary visibility turned off. Okay. So all right. So let's take another render. All right. This is uh, the result. Let me just pause this video. I'm going to record um, another one, uh, just a couple of minutes to finish this up. Okay.